What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kit Kat here and today we are back at it with our boy Swoozy. Uh, he posted today uh, a video called Blind Date at Chick-fil-A Story. I can only imagine what blind dates are like because I haven't been on one and I hope I never do because I feel like I would just no. Um, that That's really all I have for you. Just no. But without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So I get this text from my homegirl, Sharon. So I have this friend. Your name came up last night. I showed her your pictures. She wants to meet you. Your friend sounds like she has good taste. She does. So she trying to take me to Taco Bell or no? Mm, how about Chick-fil-A? Wait, smoothie. I don't like Chick-fil-A or what they stand for. Their chicken is evil. Okay, well, I'm not forcing you to go there. I'm just telling you the story. Okay, carry on. All right, yeah, the three of us should meet up at Chick-fil-A. No, you and her should go to Chick-fil-A. Just admit it, you're shy to go on a date. Me? Shy? <laughs> now, the main reason I want Sharon a third wheel on this date <laughs> is because the last few months, things have been weird. Apparently, the more popular I get, the more people like to spin narratives about me. Video game side mission. I was at a party. My friend comes up to me. Yo, this is my friend Anna Lucia. Nice to meet you. I think I said two more words to this girl. Walked off. Never saw her again. Two or three months later, my boy texts me. You know a girl named Anna Lucia? Uh, no. I was hanging out with some friends last night. And she said she met you at a party. And you spent the whole night hitting on her and trying to hook up with her. What? She doesn't seem like your type, so I didn't believe it, but everybody else at the party that she was telling the story to, they believed it. What? There are people what? in the world who are just delusional. <laughs> there are people in the world who just are thirsty for attention. I don't know if this is your first time watching one of my videos, but I like to joke a lot. So if you tweet yeah, or DM you me talking about some I love you, let's get married, be my boyfriend, I'm going to tweet you something sassy back. So mm -hmm. the I love you backs and let's date in secret those jokes are gonna have to stop. I just said hi to this girl. Imagine if I told her a joke that she can now take and spin some new narrative on and use that as ammunition. I didn't say this to Sharon, but I'll say this to you guys. If it's gotten to the point to where I'll say hi to somebody in a room full of people and they have ammunition to spin some crazy story, you start thinking twice about being alone with people that you're meeting for the first time. I basically just tell Sharon that I'm trying to de-romanticize the situation. So then Sharon says, do you want a picture of her? And then I thought, you know, this would be really exciting if I didn't even know what she looked like. With everybody having social media, it's almost impossible to go on a blind date. So I figured let's spice it up. I don't even wanna see what she looks like. So we okay. set the day, we set the time. I show up at Chick-fil-A and then I realize, I forgot to ask Sharon what this girl's name was. So I quickly text Sharon. I'm like, yo, yo, um, it's a minor detail. What's your girl's name again? Lisa. And she's wearing an olive dress. Got it. <laughs> I'm so mad I realized I messed up. I should have showed up first, waited in the parking lot, watched Lisa walk in. Once she sits down, then I make my grand entrance, burst open the door in slow motion, and all the doves will fly behind <laughs> me. Machete. I'm Brasma. Oh, Swoozy, do you know French? Keep going. Homme du fromage. <laughs> A minute or two later, I see this girl walking up to me. She's an olive dress on. Adande? Lisa? Nice to meet you. I hope you don't mind, but last minute had to babysit my niece. Totally cool. Now in the back, back, back of my brain, I'm thinking, did Sharon tell Lisa about this whole de-romanticized thing and is that why she brought her niece? So we order, Lisa and her niece go over and sit down. When I walk over, Lisa's sitting at the table, but her niece is sitting five tables away. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Tell your niece to get over here. No, 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 it's okay. It's already weird that I have to bring her. It's not weird at all. Trust me. I call her niece over. She comes and sits down next to her aunt. So I'm talking to Lisa. She's telling me about her job, what she does. I'm bringing the niece into the conversation. Me and her niece start talking about Frozen 1 versus Frozen 2. She liked Frozen 2 better than Frozen 1. I think she's crazy. Animation in Frozen 2 was awesome. Frozen 1 overall, better. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. So as we're talking, Lisa says, I'm gonna be honest, I don't follow a lot of influencers on YouTube, but I don't even know what that whole world's about. My sister really doesn't understand any of this. She won't even let my niece go on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and none of those. What is that like? Like, how old are you? 16. 
and you can't go on any social media? You know, I, I, I sneak and I watch some YouTubers, but I'm not allowed to be on social media. I don't understand the whole social media thing, and Sharon says, like, you have a million subscribers? You know, I have a little bit more than that, but who's counting? It's whatever. <laughs> like, do people come up to you and ask for your autograph and ask for pictures and stuff? She's still talking, and I notice these four girls on the other side of the restaurant just staring at me. And I'm thinking, how funny would it be if mid-sentence, she's like, do people ever recognize you? And this whole table comes over and starts talking to me. And as we keep talking, I realize the table next to them are staring at my table. Next thing you know, every kid in this restaurant, I see them and looking at my table. But then again, there are times where I'll go out and this will happen and the people are too scared to come up to me. If I'm out even at like a restaurant, if I'm mid-chew and you ask for a picture, I will take the picture with you, I promise. The only time I will not do it is if you're the guy tapping me on the shoulder when I'm using the bathroom in the Chicago airport. Imagine being at the John, taking care of business, and then you feel a hand. Have you ever, has anybody ever touched you in a public bathroom? Somebody tapped me and I turn around and look at him like... He got a picture. But bro, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> so by the time we finish eating, everybody in the restaurant is staring at our table. Clean up the table, stand up with the tray. The first girls that start staring at me, run over. Excuse me, excuse me. So, I'm so, we're so sorry to bother you. Yes? Um, this is really weird. But, are you the girl from TikTok? What? No. What? 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 No. What are you talking about? You're the girl. I, you're her. Yeah, 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 you're her. And then her niece beelines to the exit. Everybody in the restaurant, their eyes follow her. Hold up, hold up. Half the people in this restaurant were sitting behind her. So that means they recognized her from the back of her head. I am irrelevant. <laughs> Hand to God, these girls started talking to me first and then asked if she was on TikTok. You could see all the sparkles in these kids' eyes. Lisa's standing over here watching all this, super confused. Uh, your niece is TikTok famous, just so you know. She's not even allowed to have the app on her phone. I'm pretty sure if you grabbed her phone right now, the app is there. She literally turned red as she ran to the car. <laughs> so we walk outside. So, uh, what's your, what's your TikTok name again? I don't have TikTok. Huh, okay, so what, how do you spell your first and last name? I'm just curious, asking for a friend. Uh, don't worry about it, gotta go, bye! <laughs> and jumps in the passenger seat. Confirmed, your niece is TikTok famous. The whole restaurant was gushing over her like she was a member of BTS. So anyways, <laughs> this is one big, long-winded, roundabout way of letting y'all know your boy is on TikTok. <laughs> also, guys, don't bother in the comments asking me what the niece's TikTok name is, because I still don't even know. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, not the worst blind date story I've ever heard of, but it's, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> oh my god, I can only imagine that, like, oh my god, if you were TikTok famous and people would just, oh boy, that's, that's insane, bro. But that was actually, <laughs> oh my god. As always, Suzy never ceases to amaze me. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe for more videos, and be sure to ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video so you guys don't miss out on anything. And that's going to be it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!